The problem here is if I make one mistake, it's like one spelling mistake might not be the end of the world, but if I make a mistake and I don't realize it, it's just game over from there. So it's either it's make or break like complete disaster or this will actually work. So I want, I almost forgot to write footer and I can't look at my keyboard now. So it's a lot harder to notice if I catch spelling mistakes. See, I almost, I don't know if I did enough. Okay, we're gonna leave that. We're going to, oh man. <laughs> I already mucked up. Hello, my friend and friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kevin. Normally, we're here to learn how to embrace the cascade and just learn about the wonders of CSS. It's usually fun tutorials and doing some more realistic things than this ridiculousness, but every now and then I do think it's important to have a little bit of fun. So in this video, um, I've taken a really long live stream that I did where I progressively removed my own ability to see the code I was writing until I was completely blindfolded. And so we're gonna take a look at how that went. And interestingly enough, we're gonna see that my whole Embrace the Cascade really came to save me as we were going through a lot of this challenge. So here we are you know, as I started the first challenge and I'm gonna narrate a little bit as we go through some of the more boring parts and then I'll jump in and we'll actually follow along a bit more when we're, we get to the more exciting stuff or uh, you know where, where I might run into some issues. So I did have different parts of this challenge that I was gonna do, but one thing I realized before even starting is that I wouldn't be able to do the HTML blind or semi-blind or anything just because one typo and the whole thing just crumbles and I didn't want to take any chances there so all the CSS were the real blind parts so here I was just putting the HTML together for the first design I was doing and for this part of the challenge uh, I wanted to sort of step up the game as I was going so for this first part of the challenge as we'll see in a second I decided to do it where I could see my code and I could see the design I wanted to make, but I couldn't see the browser, so I couldn't see the results that I was getting. Here's when I started all that off. Okay, now we're gonna jump on over to the CSS, but I can't, I'm not gonna look, I'll let you guys see what's happening, but I won't be able to see it. So if I do that and I break this off, so I can't see that, but you guys can see it, um, just so you can see what I actually can see on my screen. This is what I can see on my screen right now. So this is what I'm looking at. You guys get to look at this. <laughs> so now's the fun part of trying to get this to work. Uh, usually with CSS, the beauty of it is always being able to see your results immediately so you know you made a mistake. And actually this one ended up going pretty well overall. Um, there were some things as we're gonna see a little bit later where I got stuck or I forgot a few things. But when you can see the design you wanna do, you can sort of know most of the stuff that you wanna do. I didn't find it that difficult. Um, usually when I'm doing it, I'm sort of predicting what's gonna happen anyway, but I hit save and I see if I was right. Um, but there were a few things along the way that I just completely forgot about. And this is why it's always useful to have like hot reloading and stuff like that, because when you make changes, sometimes you have unintended consequences to what you did or you forget that maybe a certain thing will happen. So I did run into a few issues, but I did let the chat help me out. So they helped me fix some of the problems that I ran into like right here. The button is not stretching across. Didn't I do a display block? I did. I, I, I noticed this actually. Um, the buttons don't like doing that even if they have display block. I'm not sure why. Uh, I have to look into that. Width, 100%. Is that better? Padding is screwing up now. Oh, I know why. This guy right here, the unset, I had the box sizing, and then when you do an all on set, it's gonna remove the box sizing. Uh, box sizing, quarter box. Can we consider this one a victory? If that didn't work, then I don't know, but. All right, I'm gonna look and see what I got. So I'll, I'll switch over to my screen so we can see what I'm looking at. And I'll bring it up and, oh, my background is way darker for some reason. Uh, so my margins are a little bit off, um, but overall, overall, I think I'm pretty, oh, what happened to my, didn't I put an opacity on this? I thought I had an opacity, did I not do that? Oh, I only did it here, I meant to do it there and I forgot. Darn it, opacity, make a point. Eight maybe, that looks a bit better. The per month could probably be a little lower too. Um, so spacing's not perfect, but overall, like, overall I think it's pretty good. What's that? Oh, the dark blue is for this color. I guess the body had some, the light blue, the, the other gray was supposed to be what was on the body. That's okay though. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we did pretty good. Thank you very much for your help. I don't know how we're gonna do the next one. I have no idea. So I was pretty happy with how that challenge went. I, I did pretty good on that one, I think. Um, I skipped a little bit there where I just added the border radiuses and everything. There was nothing too exciting there. It worked out pretty well. So, and yeah, I think I think I did a pretty good job matching it considering I didn't see what I was actually working on. And obviously the chat did help me out a little bit in doing that or it wouldn't have looked quite as good. And 
But obviously the next part of the challenge, things got a little bit more interesting here, which is when I went from being able to see VS Code to no longer looking at VS Code. You guys can see it. This one, there we go. Now, now, there we go. So now if I go back over, this is what I see. This is what you, whoops. This is what you see. This is what I see. So I can't see VS Code. I just, there we go. So I'm online, I'm, on, I'm in VS Code. I'm gonna move it a little further out. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> let's just do box sizing border box. Uh, and hit save. <laughs> and that won't change anything right now. Will it? Tragedy already? Okay, I have to bring this up. Oh, okay, one second. Okay, I can see what I'm doing right now. Let's, I, I, let me just do one thing here. Body, I'm looking at my screen right now, body. I have to get my, my finger, my finger movements down here. Body, whoops. Border, zero. Okay, even if it looks like that, that's fine. Okay, so we'll try, okay, this is not, this is not gonna end well, everybody. Uh, so body, See, I put an R in there, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five. Body. I always spell body with an R. Box, uh, ba. Margin of zero. I worked. I didn't put a semicolon at the end. My font size is big. I don't remember what it is. Okay. Return. I think I'm on a new line. Um, I already forgot the names of my stuff. <laughs> um, so, okay, I, hmm. Okay, we're gonna do body again, because I don't want to try and get my other selector. Body, min height, 100 VH. I should be using Emmet for this, actually. Maybe it would be easier, I'd have less typos. That's min height, 100 VH. Display, grid, place, Items, center. Something moved, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Uh, so I'm just gonna push down a lot now and we're gonna try doing dot card, display. Oh, I misspelled it. Okay, if I misspell something and I do a semicolon and I just go to the next line, display flex. Yes! <laughs> so one nice thing about CSS, if a line doesn't make any sense, it just skips that line. So as long as I know that I misspelled something, we'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna throw another semicolon there because I don't know if I had one. Max, not mix, max width of 80%. Is that percent? It is. Okay. Um, we're gonna push down a lot on the keyboard. Let's go look at what we're looking at making. So my image, uh, if I do that, okay, let's just click in there and then scroll all the way down. Okay, so that's my... So I called it dot card IMG. I'm gonna give it a flex basis of 30%. Java, this would not go well with JavaScript. Class name for the image is dot IMG, oh no. How do I fix that? Okay, control G, what line do I need to go to? Where, where's the cla the name that I did card image that should just be 31, 31. Okay, so it's dot and then one, two, three, four, five. No, what did I do now? <laughs> oh man. Okay, one second, let's just go all the way to the end. I am G. Max width 100%. Ah, this is where images, see images and, okay, so one second, I'm gonna do a control F for, I don't know, is that gonna work? Control F might screw me up here. Uh, dot IMG, so I can find that, but now I'm stuck in my finder, so that doesn't help me at all. Okay, can, that's just, <laughs> all the way down to the bottom again. And it was dot IMG flex, not flex, ah, Kevin. 
Okay, whatever. Semicolon. Flex basis of 100%. Oh, not 100%. 1, 2, 3, 4. 50%. That's going to be too big, but I just want to see. So not being able to see VS Code, uh, I'll say I learned a lesson there that if I made a mistake, that it's really, you just have to throw in a semicolon or even a closing, extra closing brace just to sort of escape from that mistake. So the, the cascade really, it was helping me out. Uh, but um, I did run into more problems here than I was anticipating just because uh, when I was making certain things, I wasn't sure if they were actually working or not. I had a delay with the chat. So sometimes it was, you'd have to do it and just wait for chat to let me know if I made a typo or if I made the mistake and what I was trying just wasn't working. Uh, so that was a little bit frustrating. And then as I also learned that when you make a bigger mistake and it just breaks everything, that's when it can get really, really tricky <laughs> to be able to fix something when you can't see your code. I want to change the size I have for this. I have it as 50% somewhere. I have it as 70% and as 30%. I want to take the one that's 70, 50% uh, off. Line 35, control G, 55. Oh no, I did 55. Control G, 35, X, save. Oh no, okay. Uh, did I remove my whole selector or did I just do the... <laughs> I took the selector, undo, save. <laughs> Can I get to the line I need or is it all there? If it's all there, I'll just make a new line. One line down. Flex basis, 30%. Uh-oh, undo, undo, undo. Oh, redo. Okay, control G, 40. Am I in the right line? Control X, flex basis, 30%. Undo, undo. Undo. Whew. <laughs> oh, I had the closey. Oh, man. Uh, okay, we'll try that again then. Actually, so that means if I just redo it all, redo, 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 save, and then I add that and I hit save. Oh, you guys are the best. Thank you. Perfect. Super good. Okay, uh, let's go all the way down to the bottom now. If I now do h1 margin top of zero. Seriously, undo. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, Kevin. Oh, okay. I thought, I, oh, was I not at the very end of my code when I did that? Uh, what? I don't even remember what I did now. H1 margin top zero. I just, okay. Dot IMG space IMG height. 100% and then I want an object fit cover yeah there we go perfect <laughs> okay two more things and then we'll call it a day I, I've been okay actually I want to scroll back up I don't want to be able to see what I'm doing so uh, and that'll just hold down for a little while now Two things left, and then I'll call it done. I should be at the end by now. Um, so dot card. I want to have a box shadow, which is going to be really hard to do. Zero, zero. Oh, wait, I did a comma. Okay, control X. Yeah, I know I can do control N, but I have a custom keyboard and I don't know on this layout that I'm on now, I don't know where my end key is because I never use it. Uh, I'm gonna control X that and then do, I hope I was on a new line, box shadow 001M RGBA 000.2, uh, point two that, that. Ha ha, that worked and then Border, uh, control X, border radius. Uh, let's do eight pixels. And we know from before that we need an overflow of hidden. Haha, there we go. Okay, I'm shipping that. <laughs> we did it. 
All right, moving into part three of the challenge, this is where things really got difficult because what I did is I took the browser away as well. So the only thing I could be looking at was the design itself. So if I made a mistake, I wouldn't know it. Whereas before, if I ran into mistakes and I, I broke something, I could see that it was broken because I could see the result in the browser. And that would let me know like it was hard to fix. Luckily, the chat was there to help me out. But it was really hard to fix those mistakes, but at least I could fix them. Uh, now I wouldn't know if I made a mistake or not unless the chat told me, but it was really hard to also tell what the mistake was uh, along the way just because I couldn't see what the result was. But uh, I did choose on purpose a fairly simple design just because I didn't want this to be a complete disaster. So overall, it wasn't actually as bad as I thought it might be. And I'm happy that I did those previous parts before this because I think without that, I wouldn't have been able to do this as well as I did. I learned a lot of sort of little things along the way uh, to make it a little bit easier to do. So if I did make a mistake, you know, as I said before, how I could recover from those mistakes without having to try and delete code, I could just keep on going. It was fantastic. So I'll move, I can move one of these windows up then. I can move this one up. I need to see what I'm actually designing, I think. I have to, because if not, I, I can't do this. Okay, so I can see what I'm designing, but I, so the, the, the one, can you see my mouse? Yeah, this one. This one I can see, I can't see any other windows. I'll show you, that's what I see. Plus I have VS Code sticking out at like a, a little bit at the bottom of my screen, but just so I can click into, into the box. Okay, so this, oops. There we go. So <laughs> where do I start? Um, let's scroll up so I can't see and then just push down a lot. And okay, so the first while we'll get our feet wet. If, as long as it's going okay, we'll blindfold myself at one point and we'll try and keep going. Um, but I think that one, like if I don't have the help from the chat to do this, it's not gonna go well, so. <laughs> um, here we go, here we go. I am, de I'm definitely delaying the inevitable right now. This is not where I want, I don't want to do this. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to do it. That last one went a little, once I got into the flow of it, it went a little bit better and definitely realizing that the cascade could help me was a really, a really big one. So we're going to start with a body. I've never written looking at the keyboard so much. Body, height 100 VH, height 100 VH. Then I want to be able to display grid. I hope I didn't put two Y's there. Display grid. <laughs> I don't know if I put a semicolon, so we'll put another one. Display grid and then place items center. Did I mess up my grid? I'm good so far? Awesome. Okay. So let's go to the end. I should have actually checked my key bindings and I would have been able to get to my end easier. But anyway, um, okay, dot card, max width 600 pixels. I'll do the box shadow right away, box shadow, zero, zero, it looks pretty big. It actually looks like it's offset a little bit. So we'll do a 1M, 2M, RGBA zero 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 point one five. So hopefully that's still working. <laughs> um, okay. All good. Everything's still good. Good. Okay. I forgot some of my class names already. This is always the worst. I'm always looking back at my own class names. Okay, I, I remember one of them. I don't know if I'm in my selector here. Let's get out of here. Uh, dot gray. Did I spell gray with an A or an E? The fun of being in Canada where we do it both ways. Color. I misspelled color there, didn't I? Okay, just hit that. And then do color. 
color of number 555. Probably not the right color, but whatever. <laughs> I can't see anything though. I can't even see my editor. I hope you weren't doing it this way. It's Crowell. <laughs> Uh, you guys can see it. I can't see anything. <laughs> um, did the color gray thing work? Or did I misspell my, my selector? <laughs> Let's get out of there now. Okay. Dot G-R-A-Y. Color number 555. Did that work? <laughs> Hopefully that worked. There we go. Um, <laughs> okay, next up. That was a simple one. Oh, I just realized a whole bunch of stuff has a, a bold font on it. <laughs> okay. I had a dot, dot name, dot info. Oh man, okay, let's, the whole card. Dot card has a text align of center. And I've never doubted myself when I'm typing so much. Um, padding top of like four rem. It's probably bigger than that. I keep forgetting if I put semicolons. Um, and then it has a background I image. How am I going to do a background image? <laughs> okay, URL dot dot I don't know the name of the background images image is I didn't put a width on the card I thought I put a width already okay I need your help now can I <laughs> okay I'm in the middle of an image I need help with my image <laughs> am I even in a path am I doing this right at all is it too big at 600 pixels you don't see anything it's not auto there's no autocomplete it should it shouldn't matter even if I don't have quotes. Okay, you know what? I, no, I can't do it with a background color. Mm. I was gonna put a background color, but then we we can't do the repeating thing. No autocomplete. Did I misspell images? Oh, it's right. Oh man, how f I had image. I image is five letters. One, two, three, four, five. That one, that one, that one. Am I in the right spot now? Can I do this? Or is this, am I bad now still? Two more. I am, oh, six, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. <laughs> Image is, oh no, I don't have, I don't have the URL or anything. Okay, one second. <laughs> Background image. URL images slash is autocomplete working now? I didn't do it right again. It's good now. Okay, so now what do I need? <laughs> so if I do that and then I do a closing bracket again and then I do a semicolon and I hit save. <laughs> I'm waiting before I do anything else. It worked? It's filling up the whole card, that's fine. Awesome, okay. So then I wanna do a background repeat of, I don't use background repeat very often. Repeat, background repeat. <laughs> Is it repeat X? Is that right? Oh wow, okay, good. <laughs> Um, okay, let's get out of this thing. And as you can see here, I think I did a pretty good job getting there. I got to the end of the design, we had that one part left and it was time to throw on the blindfold. And this part made me very scared and very nervous because not only could I, I just couldn't see anything, um, but I chose a part where I could sort of easily visualize <laughs> what I'd be trying to accomplish. If it was too long, I wouldn't be able to do it. So let's, let's just jump in, you can see what I was focusing on and you can see how I did without being able to see anything. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to like get as much mentally prepared as I can here. Give me a second. 
I could probably peek out if I wanted to here, but you guys would trust me. Let me find my keyboard. Good thing they have the markings on the keys here. I should listen to some music too. It might help keep the head, the, the thing on. Okay, let me get my hands placed here. Okay. Um, so I want my, the problem here is if I make one mistake, it's like one spelling mistake might not be the end of the world, but if I make a mistake and I don't realize it, it's just game over from there. So it's either it's make or break like complete disaster or this will actually work. And I sort of wish I was using SAS now because then I wouldn't have to worry about closing brackets. I could just nest stuff and that would have been a bit easier probably, but I thought that it would be easier without it. So here we are. Um, okay. So I want, I almost forgot to write footer and I can't look at my keyboard now. So it's a lot harder to notice if I catch spelling mistakes. See, I almost, I don't know if I did enough. Okay, we're gonna leave that. We're going to, oh man. <laughs> I already mucked up. I have to look to see my arrow keys. I need to start that over again. Okay, that one. I didn't know if I could close my, my brackets properly there. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do it again. I mucked up footer. I don't even know if I mucked it, but I felt like I mucked it. Okay, footer. Footer, open, close. New line. So we're in my footer. I'm gonna do first a margin top of two rem, semicolon, new line. Okay, next I wanna have a border top, one pixel solid black. This is where my touch typing is really getting put to the test here. Semicolon, new line. Padding top, one pixel solid. What am I doing solid, one pixel solid? S-O-L-I-D, S-O-L-I-D, X-P-1. Three rem. Semicolon, oh no, okay, let's go that way. Enter, I think I'm okay now. <laughs> See, I, I almost feel like it's all a disaster already. <laughs> um, if that worked, then I can do a display of flex. Justify content space. Uh, we'll go space even. Ooh, that's not L. Oh no. Or was I been putting L space? Oh man. Oh no. I... Okay, let's just do that. Justify content. Space evenly. That feels like I did it right. Have I been putting L's this whole time instead of semicolons? I feel, I have no confidence that I've been pushing the right key for semicolon all of a sudden. <laughs> oh my goodness. My arrow keys, I'm not used to their placement yet. So this should be, that's up and down. That's up left and right. So I should be able to escape out of this selector like this. And then I really feel like looking at the chat to make sure I'm just not like, <laughs> you're either all like laughing hysterically right now and everything's a disaster. But anyway, let's try and keep going. Footer P font size is 2M. And then I should be able to get out of that selector and say my footer P span as a font size of, oh no, I should have, anyway, of point, I, I can't do numbers. I can't do numbers. That's, okay, one second, zero, nine, eight, eight, rem. It's gonna be way too small. Is there anything else I needed to do on that? Yeah, there was. Um, that should be all the way out that way. Where's my arrow keys though? I don't even know if I did that properly. 
I feel like peeking to make sure I'm hitting the right arrow keys. Oh no. This must be my down key. It has to be that one. Okay, let's hope that was the down key. Uh, footer. Padding. That might be three Ds. Bottom. 2M. Was there anything else I needed to do? This is so weird. <laughs> I, I think I have to look now. I'm trying to think, is it? Okay, I put. I tried putting a margin top, a border, and then the padding on the top. I did the display flex, so I should have three columns. I set the font sizes on each one. I set the font sizes on the spans. I added a padding on the bottom of the whole thing because it needed some space there. I don't think there's anything else I needed to do. <laughs> this didn't work, did it? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I guess I could try again if it was a disaster. I don't feel like, I don't even want to look at the chat right now. <laughs> Not so bad. Not so bad. All right, let's let's take a look. Okay, okay. Um, let's see, let's pull up my screen now. This is what I'm looking at now. Well, pulling this up, this was down, I just pulled it up. Um, is that what I'd made? Oh, it's not terrible. That could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. I needed to make these a display of block. I didn't think of that. Um, there's a few things here actually. I'm not too sure why it didn't work. Did I, oh wow. <laughs> I was, I see, I, I knew I was messing up my L's and my semicolons there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so if I fix that one, space even Lee, that sort of helped. And then if I did the footer P as a, uh, or no, the span as a display block. And then just my padding here was way too much. That was really stressful, <laughs> like insanely stressful. So that was a ton of fun. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see me get up to all sorts of ridiculous stuff or to see me live code and teach live over on Twitch, check out my Twitch channel. It is linked down below. I'm live every single Monday for at least a few hours and sometimes it's ridiculous things like this. Very often I have either lessons to do or I'm working on actual projects or stuff like that. I interact with the chat, continuously answer questions. We do AMAs, I do project reviews, all sorts of fun stuff like that. So if you want, my Twitch link is just down below if you want to follow along with that sort of thing. With that, a very big thank you to Zach and Randy who are my supporters of Awesome over on Patreon as well as all my other patrons for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.